So today we are going to work on the master and getting it all cleaned up. As you can see, there's tons of stuff all over the place. I will show you like an overview. I don't think I'm going to record doing everything just for the fact, um, I don't even know where to start. So, um, I think I'm just going to try and get a lot of it taken either in the basement uh, throw it away or put it in the uh, yard sale donate pile downstairs in the basement and uh, go from there. Um, we do want to paint the the um, walls white like the bathroom is and um, like I said we're not going to worry about the floors right now. Um, I honestly like we haven't even done we, like, we haven't even decorated our bathroom yet. And I think it's just because we honestly kind of got very stressed out with trying to figure everything out. Because obviously, like, this was our first project. We didn't know what we were doing. And so it was very stressful to figure out if it was all going to come together perfectly the way that we envisioned it and whatnot. And I think we just kind of got um, a little burnt out on it. So... <laughs> But hopefully, like, soon we're going to end up decorating it. We are currently using it. Um, I've been taking baths in it, which is so nice. Oh, I love that bathtub. And the boys have been taking baths in, them, in the bathtub too. So we are enjoying it, but we just need to get the rugs and stuff like that up here. So that way we can actually fully use it. It's fully functional and everything like that. If if you know what I'm talking about, but, um, yeah, so we're going to, well, I'm going to try and figure out where to start up here in the bed, the, the bedroom and, um, go from there. So let me show you how the room is looking right now. Okay. So like I said, it is a mess up here. Like we have all of our little babies, diapers and everything like that up here, all this stuff, like all this was kind of like in the bedroom, in the closet, or in the bathroom, in the closet. So I got to get that figured out. And then I have all this like cricket stuff, more stuff that was in the bathroom, all this stuff over here. That what like is bath rugs that we were going to use in the bathroom, but we just don't like the way that they look. They are black and white. But it just kind of throws the white off in there because I guess it's more of a, like a cream kind of. So I don't know. It just, it doesn't look right the way that, as you can see, we've been using it. So it's just a little bit of a mess. But the way that one of the rugs sits, it just kind of sits like right at the toilet area. So it just, it doesn't look right. Um... So we're going to have to, I picked out a couple bath mats that I like on Amazon. So hopefully it works. I did want to get like a big, big rug and put here. But um, Tyler didn't want to take away from the floors. So we're going to uh, order different ones and hopefully they will work right there to, to go in front of the toilet and the tub and not look silly. But, and then we have all this stuff over here, which isn't, isn't much over here. So the couch we're actually going to put in our oldest son's room and hopefully it works in there because it is a sleeper sofa. So when, what are you doing? <laughs> so when we have guests come over, they can sleep on it. So, uh, yeah, hopefully that works in his room. I'm thinking it will, but... My mind always sees rooms bigger than what they are, so I guess we will see. So, the cats woke up the baby, and he's nappy. They were downstairs fighting. So, I did not get very much done by the time that they woke him up. So, let me show you what I got done so far. This is all I've gotten done so far. <laughs> and the cats woke him up, so that stinks. But I didn't want to wake him up, even though the cat's dead. Hi. Yeah. Um, 
but I was just taking things downstairs and putting them next to the basement door so then that way I didn't wake up the baby. But it's okay. We'll try and make it work. <laughs> I'm already out of breath. The whole up and down the stairs is wearing me out. Um, but I, I totally forgot I wanted to mention this because I plan on doing a video about our son and what all he has gone through. So then that way when he gets older, it's something that he can look back on too and see the video and know everything because I have like a really bad memory and I'm just like afraid when he gets old enough to ask questions and everything like that, I'm not going to remember anything. So, um... I want to get a video together so then that way, you know, check this out. You can look at this and get hopefully all the answers that you're looking for out of it and stuff. But we actually had a couple. Yeah. That it was either on Facebook or Instagram that was looking up. Um, I always have a hard time saying. I think it's. Macon meconium peritonitis I think is what it how you say it and um found Tyler and I and reached out to Tyler and was talking to him and they recently found out that their child there's a chance that they may have it they're they're pregnant and um I think I think she said she was about 20 weeks or so so she definitely found out earlier than what we did. We literally found out like three, four days before I was even supposed to have um, have him that there was that chance where he had the meconium peritonitis. And um, yeah. And it's just, it's crazy how it all worked out. So we do plan on getting a video put together and doing that, but we've just been so busy trying to get some things done around the house. Um, our oldest is doing t-ball now, so we have t-ball practice going on. So we're pretty busy. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, things start to slow down a little bit and I can get a video put together before I really start to forget, um, everything because I've been trying to take notes and looking back through text messages and stuff like that because I have already forgotten things, um, so hopefully I can get that all put together and get a video out and hopefully help other people and they can reach out to us and get any information that they can from us and stuff like that. So um, it was it was pretty, pretty neat t talking to them and we set up a phone call and just I think we talked to them for over an hour like it was pretty, pretty nice. So we're staying in contact with them every now and then yeah. checking in and yeah. Seeing how things are going, huh? Yeah. And a lot of our medical supplies, yeah, that we got, um, we was going to donate it to the hospital, but if it comes down to um, them having to go through what we went through, we're probably going to send it to them because it took the insurance company quite a, quite a few weeks to even get us a box of stuff. And uh, so we had to run back and forth from the hospital quite a few times to get extra supplies because we didn't have it. So we will probably just donate what we can to them and then donate the rest of it back to the hospital. Uh, because I know when we were there last, they were talking about how they've been having shortages on stuff. So I definitely just don't want to throw it away. Like that's just a waste. So we will definitely donate it to whoever we can to help. So. But now, I'm going to get back to cleaning. Yeah. Okay, so we got a fussy baby. He don't want to lay down no more. I got a little more done. Let me show you. I got all of this done here. And then I was working on my Cricut stuff, trying to get it all organized and put it back in the box. But I think I'm just going to take a break since he's cranky and I'm getting hungry. So I'm going to get some lunch. Okay, so let me show you everything that I've gotten done so far. I got this whole side done. That's my Cricut stuff. I'm just going to leave it up here because I don't want to put it downstairs in the basement. So it's just going to stay there for now. I got basically all that cleared off. 
Look at these cute. Watson did these when he was like, I think about three. And these are the first paintings that he actually did and got into it. I don't know. He likes crafts, but if you make him work for things, he doesn't care to really do it. But he enjoyed doing these, so I want to frame these and keep them. And um, he said I could put them in his room. I said, can I hang these up in your room? He said, um, sure. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. I'm out of breath. I've been running up and down the stairs. So I got to ask Tyler what he wants me to do with all of this stuff here now. Since a lot of that is from the bathroom and uh, the old stuff. So I just got to figure out all of that. And basically got all this done over here. And now I just got to wait for Tyler to come home. So I can, again, figure out what to do with that. And then I should be able to start painting tomorrow. Well, I need to patch a couple holes and stuff like that. And then, then should be able to paint things. So... That will be exciting. So we are hoping that this weekend we are going to be able to start moving things up here. Um, today is uh, Wednesday. Um, so yeah, we're hoping that this weekend we can get things moved up. So I don't know if we get it moved up by Saturday, then um, obviously it'll be in the video for Sunday. But if not, it'll be in next um next week's video um so yeah because we're going to get our stuff moved up here after we get painted and then we want to paint and everything that we need to do in our old room and then we can move Watson's stuff into that room and then we're going to do the same for um Theo's room is get it painted and everything like that that we need to do to get him moved in it too. So it's going to be a whole process, a whole itch to switch, if you will. <laughs> so yeah, but Tyler did just get home, but um, I don't know if I'm really going to do much more today, but I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So I got everything picked up that need to be out of the way. And I kind of moved some things that we're keeping in here. I just went to Lowe's today. So I got some, th some stuff there. I went ahead and swept the floor, so now I just have to go around and see what I need to patch and uh, fix on the walls.
this is currently the next day. Yesterday was just not the best day. <laughs> but obviously this stuff is dry. And then I did do a little bit up here that I noticed. So I'm going to wait until that dries. And then I moved the couch out of the way so I could make sure there was nothing on the walls over here that I had to repair. But I'm going to wait for all of that to dry up there and then get it sanded and go from there. Okay, so I got... Oh, he's down here screaming. Say, Mama! Mama! Coming! And you! Yes, my baby! Okay, so I got all of this sanded down in this... And that was really all the holes and stuff that I was finding. And I went ahead and culped everything that I needed to do. And now I'm going to start painting the trim. What you see mm -hmm. Moon walking on me Yeah, yeah, it ain't even fair So on top of the beat Better listen up We about to make it happen So hot, we burn it up show you everything that I've done because mama is ready to go to bed <laughs> so I've done the trim today I caulked and sanded and then I went around and um oh shoot see mama's ready for bed my brain stopped working did the outline there whatever that's called all around so I'm hoping that tomorrow we will be able to start putting paint on the walls. So it will be probably in the afternoon when I get to do it though, because I do have a hair appointment tomorrow. But this is the progress that I have gotten done today. Make, make it. We about to make it happen. since about 5 30 6 o'clock today um like i said i was going to get a late start on it but let me turn you around and show you everything that uh, i've got done so far today so i ended up getting the second coat i did um i don't think i s told you guys that i did the first coat but i've done two coats um i do need to go around because where i did um the trim here with the brush that I had, like it was just leaking. I don't know what was going on with that brush. So I have a smaller one that I'm going to do some touches up tomorrow. So I got all the walls done and then I started painting the trim down here. And then I'm going to try and paint um, all the rest of it tomorrow basically and then do the touch ups. But that's all that I'm going to do today. And I think that's going to be it for today's video since I have to try and get it edited and up tomorrow. So, so hopefully you guys will stick around and see part two. With that brain.